Yo, what up, my name is Derek, and today I'm going to show you guys how to install Windows 11 without having that processor requirement, the TPM 2.0 requirement, or even the secure boot requirement. So to do this, we're going to go on our, to our browser and download Rufus. Now, don't just download any version. I recommend the portable version because I think the portable version is the only version that allows for you to download the Windows ISO through the actual program. I'll talk about that once we get to the program, but just download the portable version and then open it up. So once you have it opened up, I recommend plugging in a 16 to 32 gigabyte uh, flash drive. You need that for this because this is how we're going to install our Windows. We can't install it through the media creation tool or upgrading our computer. So we have to do it through a ISO that we're going to pretty much format into a custom or an, into a flash drive. If you watch my videos on custom ISOs or even my tutorial on how to uh, install one, I talk about this as well. So find the device. So mine is called GGOS. It is a just a 32 gigabyte flash drive. And then from here, boot, boot selections, keep it on disk or ISO image. And then over here, if you have the install downloaded, you're not going to want to, you just don't need to download it. You don't need to download it. You can download it through here. So we're going to press on download. And once you press download, it's going to ask you, it's going to download a bunch of lists that have like the list of uh, ISOs that you can download. You can see right here. So we can download Windows 10, 11, 8 point, you know, all of them. We're going to press on continue. Then it's going to ask um, which version. And then Homer Pro, just keep it on home slash pro. I think it also is going to ask for the language of your computer. So for me, I'm going to stick with English instead of English International. And then architecture, I'm going to keep it on CC4. And then I'm not going to download using a browser. I'm just going to press on download. Now, this will download to a folder. It will ask you to download it through a folder. So I'm just going to download it into that folder. And I'm going to download this, and I'll be right back. Now, once your install is done, you're going to have this image option here. And you can choose uh, for a couple options. You have standard Windows 10, uh, Windows 11 install, which is the TPM 2.0 and the Secure Boot. Or you can do extended, which doesn't have those two options. And then... Uh, the, the partition scheme, I'm just going to do MBR, but you can use GPT. It really doesn't matter. And the, the label, I just would call it Windows 11 and keep everything else the same and then press start. Let it go through. Restart your computer with the flash drive as the first thing that starts your computer. Go to the partition that you want the Windows 11 to be installed onto. And uh, once you have done that, install the Windows 11 and it should never, it would never, should never run into that error. If it does, let me know and I'll... Uh, Send you guys a file. There's a file you can run that will fix that problem if you run it, if you have that problem. But uh, yeah, anyways, hope you guys liked the video. And uh, like I said, if you have any problems, let me know in the comments. And uh, peace out.